Hi, um, I'm filming, or I'm making a tutorial on how to make these bows, um, out of fabric and needle and thread, and that's all you'll need. One well, like scissors and stuff. And, um, I wear mine to softball, but you can wear yours to whatever you want. So, I've seen things like this made for cheerleading and soccer and all these. Those parts. So, how we will begin is we'll take our fabric. I have selected a purple kind of fun pattern. And you're going to cut two squares. And depending on how big you want it, it will depend on what size you make the squares. So, I'm going to make this one smaller, I think. So, I'm just going to... And I chose these hair cutting scissors because they're really sharp and they're great on fabric. So we'll just cut it and I it doesn't have to be even because you'll be sewing it but and then I'm going to cut another one but I'm going to trim this side off because it's a little off counter. But yeah, a piece about this size would probably make a bow about this size. Might be a tiny bit bigger. So and this I would say is like three by four inches, so it's not too big. And you can make it however big or small you and you'll just repeat the process for the second piece of fabric. Alright. So you'll remove the excess fabric. And, I mean, you don't need it to line up like a ton, you know, but just a little bit would be nice. And so, I might just trim off some edges. Actually, I'm going to keep it just like it is. So, they don't have to be exact because you're going to be cutting in the middle. And so, then what you're going to do with this is you're going to find the two centers. Or like the colorful side, like as you can see, this would be the colorful side compared to this, and you're gonna have them facing each other, and then you're gonna take your needle and thread, and I selected a black thread because it won't show up as much on this, and then you're just gonna sew all four corners together, and I have already sewn this one. And so, you don't have to go through the time watching me sew the whole thing. So, as you can see, it is sewed together. And you can also look, the sewing is not, like, perfect in the least bit. Um, but it doesn't really matter. You won't be able to tell. And, um, you can use a sewing machine, but I didn't feel that to be necessary. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to take one side, like in the middle, here's one side and here's the other, and um, I'm just going to take this side, and you're in the middle, you're going to cut about like a one inch, I would say, slit. And so just like that big, and you're going to actually flip it inside out. And it takes a little bit of time, but and then you just want to push all the corners out.
and so you have like your square that you sewed, but inside out. And as you can see, it is definitely not like exact with the sewing, but you won't be able to tell because we're gonna scrunch it up. So now you're gonna fold it up, however you choose. I kind of like this thing, so you just kind of like accordion fold it like that. But you can play around with it, and you can just pull out the sides that you want. And then what I am gonna do, I am gonna take some needle and thread. I'm going to thread right through the center of this and I'm going to do it twice through the center because as you can see it's about, I don't know, I'd say like half an inch thick so you want it to go through in the very front, right here and then right here. And then right here. And after you have that, it'll be pretty, like, together. But what I like to do, and what I did with this one, is I wrapped thread around the middle. So I just take this, and I wrap it super duper tight. And you can, like, you're going to have to watch and make sure that it's folding the way you want it to while you're like, you'll have to keep adjusting it and I kind of prefer it to be thicker you can choose it to be thinner and I've even got um, some ideas from other YouTube videos take a piece of the um, like ribbon and glue it or sew it right there whatever you wish Whatever is easiest for you is easiest. Sorry. Um, and then you're going to have about, I would say, um, two inches of ribbon out, left over. And you're going to want to go through and make a big, and you're going to want to knot it up. So you don't, it doesn't lose its <laughs> ribbon in the middle, or string. And you can knot it up, people have different ways, I just kind of do whatever. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. And I definitely would go through more than once to knot it up. So when you have finished, you will cut it as close as you would like. Uh. And then, as you can see, there will be some like strays, and I'm not sure where that is. But you just cut it off with your scissors. And voila, here's your bow. And you can stick, I like to stick bobby pins through this. Um, some people will like glue it to little like, clips and do different stuff like that. But as you can see, it's super, super simple. And um, it takes like no time at all. And it's cute for your hair. And I got this fabric. It has like baseballs, it's for baseball, but I chose it for softball. And um, you can fold it whichever way you want. You can put it in the front, you can make it go backwards. Um, and also, I am like new to YouTube, obviously. <laughs> so um, if you could like comment, I am going to be posting like um, hair tutorials for cheer for like cheer or softball or any like athletic sport and like makeup tutorials if you just want a little bit of makeup and like what to pack in your sporting bag and all that so I'm also like really up for suggestions and um like comments so if you didn't like it what you want me to do next whatever um I hope you subscribe to this channel 
and I'll put up new videos as often as I can, and I hope you have a great day.